Sticky chicken kebabs are absolutely delicious. And for this recipe, I'm gonna show you a lovely marinade that can work as a sauce. And this recipe, you can serve it with monkfish, prawns, pork, turkey, you name it. It's so versatile, so it is perfect uh, on lovely weather on a barbecue, under a grill, or I'm gonna cook mine just on this griddle pan here in a moment. Then we'll do a very, very quick kind of like a salsa style sauce with tomatoes, red onion, a bit of garlic, and a little bit of lemon there, which I really like. So first thing we need to do is get our marinade done. I already have some chicken done. I'll show you how to do the kebabs in a moment. So just get in a nice deep bowl. It can be anything. Uh, like I'm just using one of these Pyrex dishes. We're gonna use this. These are two lovely products, and they're both from a company called Full On Foods. So they're an Irish company. They're based in the Kerry Cork border. This is really good for a stir fry, this sweet chili sauce. It's not too hot. And then this is a soya and ginger sauce. So the key into using this is you have to shake it because the ginger goes right down to the bottom. So I'm going to be quite generous here. I'm going to put that in there and then we're going to put in our sweet chili sauce. Okay, so plenty of that as you can see. I'll just move it out there so Amelia can see. And to give it a bit of a kick, we have this harissa spice. Now this is really good. They're all organic, and this is produced in Athlone uh, from a company called Oco. And they really are fantastic, really. Now there is a bit of a kick to this. So I'm gonna use just about a teaspoonful in there. You can use more if you want to. That's it there, it's a really, really lovely product. Really good mixed with butter, like if you're serving like for a baked potato, it works really, really well. Okay, we're gonna use some Canadian maple syrup. So this is some organic grade a and it's part of the simply better collection so i'm going to put this in here so we've a lot of sweetness in there so now what we're going to do is we're going to use some lemon zest and some lemon juice so grate this using the grater so that's the zest and then the juice so just using the knife the juice of half a lemon should be fine or you can use lime or you can use orange i think lemon's nicer and just using this wee juicer here beautiful you mix this all together. Now, a couple of little pips went in there, so we'll just whip them out, and then we just get a whisk, and that's your really simple marinade done. As easy as that. Now, what I like to do is to marinade. You can actually do the full chicken, but we're gonna do kebabs. So this is the corn-fed chicken. And this is part of uh, the Simply Better collection. It's fed in maize, so it's really, really lovely. So what I'm gonna do with a knife, I'm gonna show you how to do them into little kebabs. So this is some bamboo sticks, which we have here. We're going to cut them so there's no skin. Uh, it's nice and lean, lovely yellow uh, color, wonderful flavor, really succulent, and that's because of it's fed in maize. So this is produced in Cavan. So we cut them into long little strips like this. So we'll probably get four out of one chicken breast. It depends on the size. The little under fillet is gone. You can use that too. And then we're just going to get our little skewers. Now, if you want to do these in a barbecue, can I give you a really good tip? Soak these. So these are bamboo skewers. Soak these for about maybe 10, 15 minutes uh, in some cold water. And what that does, it stops them from kind of burning on the barbecue. So if you can see just the technique that I'm doing here, just with the slice of chicken, just like that, onto the bamboo skewer, I'll do another one here. So we start off, it doesn't really matter what end you start, to be honest with you. Run this up here. You don't even have to put them on skewers, but there's something lovely about eating something off a stick. I think so. So just, we'll do another two. If you can leave these, if you can, uh, for about an hour or two or overnight in the fridge, would be delicious, covered in cling film. I have some already done here. Now we're just going to run this here. So if you can see that there, that's our lovely uh, chicken. I'm gonna just get a spoon. We're gonna mix this all here. Just get your fingers in there. And that's it guys, it's as easy as that. Really, really important when you're cooking this. I'll move this out of the way. This is the one that I've marinated and you can see the way it kind of like changes color. So make extra of that marinade and what you can do is you can keep it in the fridge and I've used lemon but you can use lots of things. So this is what they look like here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my pan, then I'm gonna wash my hands, just a tiny little bit of oil, just in both pans here. So see the way the pan is smoking? This is perfect. Now you need to be careful because the pan is hot, but if we're not careful, these will burn. So uh, I have, I think I've done three chicken breasts. 
here. So I'll do four or five. There's five. You do six. One per look. And then with that lovely marinade, I'm going to put that on top of the chicken. So I'm just going to wash my hands. And when you're doing these on a barbecue, it's lovely if you can keep brushing the marinade over. So the secret is to have a really hot pan. You can pan fry them. You don't need to do them on the griddle pan. And the marinade, what I'm going to do is just drizzle this over here, Melda. It's as easy as that. And they're not going to take long to cook, and I'll tell you why. Because they're really thin. They really are thin. So let's have a little look at them. Now, I need to season them with a tiny bit of salt. And they will caramelize, and they will burn if you're not careful. We never burn anything. We just caramelize it. So we'll just turn it. That's beautiful. See that there? That lovely kind of grilled effect. Gorgeous. So this is just a cast iron griddle pan. Lovely. Delighted with that. Okay. Let that cook away. I've reduced the temperature so it's going to cook away. I'm going to get a couple more spoonfuls. Because remember we need to cook out the marinade. You've had raw meat in it. So that's really important. You can do this marinade for pork chops. For bacon chops. For lots of different things. So that's there. Okay. Now, we're going to show you, just going to show you a very, very quick little salsa here. I have red onion, uh, I have some uh, cherry tomatoes, and I'm just going to get a couple of cloves of garlic, and I'm going to literally crush them. So this should be sweet and sour. I'm going to put some lemon zest into this too. I do like lemon a lot, and balsamic. I love all those flavours. Every so often, keep looking at the chicken. Don't forget about it. So just using my garlic crusher, the garlic is peeled. Okay, so we rock it over and back. And then this is going to go just on top of the onion. So I'm heating my pan. Okay. So mix that all through there. Same for this. So two cloves of garlic. And that's, I love garlic, I have to say. Perfect. Now, I'm going to keep back the tomatoes. I'm going to get a spatula. I think it'll work better. And then into the pan, in goes the red onion and the garlic. So we're just going to let that just break up there, just soften up for a moment. Keep the tomatoes back. So I want to get it nice and kind of sweet and sour, but I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, back onto our marinade, or to our um, chicken kebabs. So keep spooning this over. And if it begins to caramelize a little bit too much, don't be afraid to throw a spoonful of water on this. And we'll flip them over again, using your tongs. Just flip them over there. You see the first, because there was very little kind of marinade, um, you know, you get those lovely kind of grilled effect, you do. So keep using this marinade, there's loads of flavour in this, but remember, you've had raw meat in it. Okay, gonna put into my little dressing here that I'm making, so I'm just gonna soften this for a moment. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in a little bit of olive oil. We're going to put in some balsamic vinegar, which gives lovely acidity. Oh, <laughs> always take the top off. That would help. Okay, so that's there. And we're going to use cherry tomatoes, but you could put these beautiful roasted red peppers in, which are gorgeous. See them there? Okay, so I'm going to put one red pepper. I really like them. And this is a dressing that I've been kind of making a lot at home. So I have. So I'm just going to literally, with the, on the plate, Normally I do this on the board, but I'm going to throw this all in together. See the way I'm cutting the peppers? Quite chunky. And these are char grilled. The flavour of these is delicious. This little dressing that I'm making here, everyone, is so gorgeous with fish, with prawns. It really is. But I do like to soften the onion. I don't want to really colour it. Okay. Lemon. I don't want to forget that. And I'm going to use the lemon zest and the lemon juice. So this is fantastic. This grater here for doing lemon zest, parmesan cheese, it really is excellent. It's gorgeous. Now just using the spatula, I'm going to whip in there just the red pepper. There's yellow actually uh, pepper in the jar. Probably half the tomato should be enough. And we're just going to let them just cook away there. Now it needs a little bit of lemon juice. And again, I'm going to use the lemon juicer. I'm just going to remove it, just spot a little seed there. So just use the juicer. Just a touch. So you want that acidity and then a pinch of caster sugar. So you get that lovely sweetness. So just give that a little mix there. 
this will keep it keeps really really well so it does in your um in your fridge but serve it warm so let's have a little look at our chicken now remember the gas is low not that i'm running out of gas by the way but i've turned it low down but Amel is getting a great shot of that so nice and close that's beautiful there when it begins to caramelize you get that beautiful flavor and again it's not going to take long so remember the technique start off in a hot pan marinate these for a few hours i actually marinated these yesterday left them in the fridge behind me covered in cling film and then all you do is just cook them and it really depends i suppose on the thickness you cut the chicken i should have said that so we're going to let this just cook away here i'm going to turn off my chicken and then i'm going to get some lovely fresh herbs so behind me i have lovely basil so i'm going to grab a little bit of basil so the basil we're going to chop nice and fine and then we're going to serve this up gorgeous so watch the fingers when you're doing this now always with fresh herbs i think so it's only a personal thing you add at the last minute and because if i leave the basil like sitting there what will happen it will just simply um it'll go it'll bruise and go black so i want to keep the cherry tomatoes now have a little look at that i don't think i put salt in a little bit of salt thank you Mella. a little bit of black pepper and that on its own guys with some cheese is delicious really delicious and now we're ready to serve up so i'll make a little bit of space here i'm going to get my lovely skewers watch the fingers they are so good and they smell they will taste delicious but the smell here is just fantastic so be careful when you're doing that us chefs you know we can touch hot things but at home do use the tongs <laughs> and then a little bit of that lovely salsa so i'll just get a spoon here so we have the, the red onion it's the garlic you could put ginger in there i didn't but it's lovely and fresh and even the chicken on the roma salad is, is just beautiful so i have the roasted red pepper a little touch of balsamic vinegar and then we have those lovely delicious kind of like softened red onions a bit of basil there and the last thing for this a little bit of salad this time of year if you want to keep salad guys a little bit of tissue paper cold water this is some salad just from our own garden a little bit of rocket yeah i'm just going to arrange it just behind the chicken here you can serve it over the chicken if you want to and that's it there so that is my sticky glaze chicken kebabs bit of a mouthful that with um that lovely uh, dressing so there's cherry tomatoes roasted red pepper lemon basil balsamic all those gorgeous flavors try this recipe trust me you will enjoy it this marinade will work so well with pork turkey chicken beef lamb you name it it ticks all the boxes so happy cooking all the recipes can be found on the MacNeen Facebook page. Thank you so much, everyone. This is our tea sorted now.